the season on Thursday. Uh, thoughts, on the, thoughts on the first game here? <laughs> it's about time. You know, it's kind of one of the deals that Thursday night can't get here fast enough. Uh, I think we've had a great fall camp. Our guys have had a great attitude, great work ethic. And I think everything from last year when we finished after that playoff game, I think our guys have been working for this time. And uh, it's going to be a great night. Weather-wise, should be a great night. And uh, hopefully we have a phenomenal crowd to open the season. I think the big thing is is that uh, now with the conference, the way it's set up, uh, almost everybody's going to start with conference games. And I mean, it, it puts a lot of emphasis on that first game. Uh, if you take a look at a lot of other sports, they either play exhibition games or they get a chance to kind of work some of the kinks out or they're playing non-conference games. In our situation, uh, in the RMAC, every game is critically important. And if you want to have a chance for the playoffs down the end of the year, you got to come out and play well. And so I think it puts even more emphasis on coming out and playing extremely well right out of the gate. The biggest thing about Western that uh, poses a problem for you guys? Well, I think the biggest thing for us in, in any situation is always going to be just competing against ourselves. Um, you know, I think that right now, looking ahead, uh, I think that uh, – we're not absolutely sure what Western's going to do offensively. Uh, they got a new offensive coordinator. They got a lot of new faces. And so I think there'll probably be a few changes to their scheme. But I know this. I know they're going to be extremely well coached. I know they're going to play very hard. But at the same time, I know our guys are going to play extremely hard. And I think our guys understand our system. We've got a lot of experience back. Our guys understand the ins and outs, the offense, the defense, the special teams. And uh, more than anything else, when we go out to compete, we're going to compete to be as good as we can possibly be. And I think that's really the biggest thing we're always going to challenge our players to do. Well, you coached it after the scrimmage last week with Western first game. It's, it's always kind of a guessing game. Mm -hmm. But you know they don't have their quarterback back. They don't have Eckler back. What does the defense really kind of try to key on or you just go out and play football? Yeah, I mean, uh, similar to what Coach said, you know, we don't have a ton of game film on them. Uh, we don't really, you know, have a lot on their uh, personnel right now. But, uh, like he said, you know, we just got to focus on uh, what we, we do and what we can control. And, uh, you know, all week we just been focused on staying crisp, you know, focusing on our fits and uh, just focus on, on each uh, individual assignment. And I think if we do that, then uh, we'll be fine no matter, you know, if they come out with any anything that we haven't seen, I think we'll adjust to that. And then, uh, like I said, we just got to focus on uh, everyone doing their 111th and uh, I think we'll, we'll be all right on defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mason's ready. You know, Mason's a he's a strong kid, big kid, and uh, he knows how to play that position. And yeah, I'll give him uh, give him tips once in a while if he if he needs it. But he's uh, he's got that side locked down pretty well, and uh, I've got confidence in him as well as he's got confidence in me, as well as the rest of the D line. I have confidence in all of us that uh, we'll do our job and uh, stay in our gaps and and try to try to be. Uh, Try to be strong on that defensive front to not let them uh, even get to the second level. And David, what's it like for you following the last season? Obviously, a good season for you. So, what's your mindset this year? Um, just, I'm excited. I'm excited for the whole offense. Um, I just, the biggest thing for me is to keep going and uh, keep the offense rolling, and just as offense as a whole, still be explosive and, you know, keep all these other guys, you know, excited and just staying on the gas pedal. David, how important is it for this team to come out offensively and really set the tone right away this season? Uh, it's very important. You know, um, we kind of got off to a slow start last year and then found our groove and found what we could do. We need to uh, start from the beginning and, and step on the gas pedal and not let up all year. Um, so this is a great opportunity to get started um, early and just uh, stay on it all year. You know, we got a strong defense to uh, help us out, get us the ball. So I'm, I'm excited about that too. The more that we can get the ball, score, score touchdowns, um, try not to let Sheehan get as many field goals this year um, <laughs> and put it in the end zone. Um, it's exciting, you know, having, uh, we got, we got a, a lot of depth in the backfield too, which is, uh, exciting too. When I, um, 
if I get hurt or I am, I'm tired, I need a break, you know, we don't, we don't take a step back. Um, the next guy in is just as uh, capable of doing everything that I can do. So, I mean, that's exciting. Um, just with the depth that we have on the offensive side, um, it shows, you know, what we're capable of doing and being explosive, no, no matter who's in there. You know, it, it is a little bit different, but I think the thing that uh, you'll see is that, number one, our frontline guys are really good, and we've got a lot of great experience coming back. But what we were also excited about is a couple of those young guys that we recruited last year, we knew they had the talent and ability to come in and compete, and I think that uh, it, it speaks volumes as far as where this program is, has advanced to in the recruiting process as well. And so I think that uh, you know we've got some very, very talented freshmen, but as much as anything, they're young men that have been able to learn and pick up the system. I'm going to go back to when you were talking to uh, uh, Blake about Mason. If you go back to last year, one of the things, Mason is, is a young man, very, very much like Blake. A tremendous work ethic in the weight room, tremendous amount of detail on the football field, and is tremendously coachable. And so he has improved uh, very rapidly. And just like Blake said, he is a, a very, very capable player for us. Well, the young guys coming in, they're seeing that as well. And they've really been spending time with the older guys to learn the ins and out of our stuff. And so we've got some very talented players uh, that have the capability of stepping in and getting games time you know in that freshman class and because you have a, sorry because you have a uh, such a great freshman class that's making great strides what does that say i know it's hard to think about now but about the future of this cmu program well, you know what, I think I think that the future of this program is very bright. But I think the same thing is true. If we go back uh, five, six years ago when I came in, uh, we knew that, that there was going to be a, a uphill road that, and things we had to overcome and challenges. But these guys here are part of that first full recruiting class we actually had. And so it's a standpoint that they've, they've overcome a lot of obstacles. They've helped the other young men coming into our program uh, have high expectations. And, and you know, it, it's not okay – to just be okay. Uh, we, we know we have the ability to be great, and that's what our players want to strive for. And so I think the big thing is, is that even in the recruiting process now, when we bring young men on campus, our older players kind of share with them what the vision of this program is and where we, where we expect to go. And I think that uh, it has really helped us because those young men coming in, they know they, they're going to be surrounded by great players. But I think it's a very good thing for us, and I think it's a great thing for the future of this program. But more than anything, I think what really provides a great future for this program is the attitude, the work ethic, and the commitment that these young men have put into our program. And going back to the depth of the backfield that Dave was talking about, what's your take on it knowing that Dan said if he comes out, the offense is going to fall? You know what, we're, we're very fortunate because, uh, you know, David David is an outstanding running back. And, I mean, he is a great in the pass protection. He's very good blocking. He's also a very good receiver coming out of the backfield. But if you take a look at the guys we have, Jonathan Beverly's had situations he's been called upon to be a starter for us in our program. He's answered and responded. He's had a couple games that have been over 200 yards in a game. He's had others that have been over 100 yards. Um, in behind him, Brett OG is a very explosive running back. But another young man that's back with us this year is Daryl Hawkins. You go back a couple years ago when Daryl was playing for us, Daryl was actually starting for us and uh, had had a great year as well so we've got tremendous talent and depth and I think that's a good thing because over the course of a season not just a game and stuff Julia I think it's a good thing to have guys that can come in and take some of the hits off and yet have the same ability to be explosive when they're in there and we don't give anything up um, same thing is true at quarterback uh, rope rule has had a great fall camp he understands our system he may have the strongest arm of any of the guys we have have in the program and then we've even got a couple freshmen that are phenomenal as far as quarterback so uh, we're very blessed we're fortunate in that standpoint and so obviously we want to stay healthy but we want to we want to come out we want to play fast we want to play extremely well from the start and then we want to continue to play really well and then one of the things we've really emphasized throughout this year is also then finish strong and I think we've got some guys here that have been great leaders and they understand that and I fully expect that out of this football team Go ahead. I'll let you guys. Theme this year is uh, leave no doubt. <laughs> so every time we step onto the field, we're leaving no doubt that we're the better team. We prepared harder, and we're going to win the game um, from the minute we step on the field. Yeah, and like David said, you know, I mean, uh, 
every everything we've done so far this off season, we kind of break it down with leave no doubt in the weight room and on the field every rep. Because uh, I believe there was some doubt last year. You know, uh, we shared the title with uh, two other teams, and so it's just uh, in our minds to just what it says: leave no doubt that we're the we're the only ones in the RMAC who uh, can win that title. It seemed like the offense is starting to. Get the timing down, being on the scrimmages, it was you know, kind of hit and miss at times. Well, it was, but I think part of that, Patty, is also a standpoint that I think one of the great things is that we have been going against an outstanding defense. And uh, I think if you take a look at it, all of a sudden we've got a lot of guys back that are healthy. You know, even last year with a lot of guys that were gone, you have a lot of guys like Blake that were playing that were banged up and they were injured, Dustin Rivas. So even though they were playing down the stretch, they were banged up and they were injured. Now we're fresh, we're healthy. And then adding Tommy Sager back, getting a couple of the other guys that were hurt and back in there. Um, I think one of the things that a lot of people are going to overlook is they're going to kind of look into last year and say that we were very explosive on offense and overlook our defense. And I think we're going to have an outstanding defense. And honestly, I believe we're, we're going to be as good as anybody there is in the, in the conference and, and possibly in the country. We've got some guys that can flat play on the defensive side, and we have great expectations there. <laughs> you know, it's amazing because when we recruited Chance out of high school, he was a wide receiver. <laughs> now he's a three-tech. <laughs> so let's just say he's a very athletic three-tech inside. And that, but he is. He's, he has continued to develop. And, I mean, you've got to look at him and say, you know, in, in the three years, it's been a total turnaround for him as far as what he had to learn. But he has done a great job. And, again, I think he compliments, just like Blake said, our defensive line very, very well. And then you've got the other guy in there, Taylor Barton, that is, is extremely strong, extremely quick. Uh, Taylor's probably the most explosive player we have on, on the team. When we test down in the weight room, I mean, that guy, he literally jumps out of the gym. He's explosive. So we've got some guys in there that, that can really play. And that's what I think a lot of people forget. But the other thing is, is – with our secondary and our linebackers healthy, we've been playing much faster in the second and third levels than what we played in a long time since I've been here. So if we can stay healthy, um, this football team can be a dynamic team.